Well, the Chang'e 3 mission is the latest step in China's ambitious space program. It's set to carry out some tasks that so far have not been done by any other country in the world. A reporter Ai Yang sat down for an exclusive interview with Ouyang Zhuyan. The 78-year-old is the senior advisor of China's lunar probe project and is sometimes referred to as the father of Chang'e missions. If our lander and rover achieves a soft landing this time, we will become the third country in history to master the technology. So tell us how complicated is this soft landing technology? It's very difficult to soft land on the moon because there's no atmosphere. A soft landing must ensure all equipment is safe on board the lander and the rover. Previously, the U.S. and the former Soviet Union both achieved this, but it was by either just the lander or just a rover. China will be the first country to land a rover and a lander on the moon at the same time. The lander will start working immediately after landing, so this will be a combined exploration of the moon by the lander and the rover. Our Chang'e 3 mission will observe the space using an optical telescope from the moon and this so far hasn't been done by other countries. Tell us more about that. The Chang'e 3 mission will achieve three firsts. Number one, space observation from the moon. This is the dream of many astronomers because atmosphere, wind, snow, and pollution don't obstruct visibility as they do on Earth. Number two, we have an ultraviolet camera on the lander to monitor the Earth. This camera is different from the one used by America's Apollo 16. Ours can see the formation of the Earth's plasma atmosphere and its density change. It's better than a satellite, which can only record data section by section as it orbits around the Earth. On the Moon, it can observe half of Earth at a time without moving. This is something people have always wanted to do. Number three, we will be the first to learn the structure and layers of the Moon 100 meters below its surface with radars installed at the bottom of the rover. As the rover drives on the lunar surface, it will be as if it can cut and see what's 100 meters below. These three highlights are what no other countries have done so far. You were quoted by the media saying that our future Chang'e 5 mission will be able to bring back samples from the Earth and we know so so far, the U.S. brought back about 400 kilograms of uh, rocks and soil from the moon. So tell us, how will we in the future benefit from such research? The human knowledge of the moon is largely derived from samples brought back to Earth by Apollo 16. In 1978, U.S. President Jimmy Carter gifted us one gram of the samples and we did lots of research using just half of that gram. Our Chang'e 5 will also return with sample. I believe within two to three years, we will be able to carry out very systematic and accurate research with the samples. For now, one tough test the Chang'e 3 mission must pass is withstanding extreme cold conditions. The rover's wings collect solar energy during the day, which allow it to function. But at night, none of the equipment works because the temperature drops as low as minus 180 degrees Celsius. Electronic devices are damaged if they are colder than minus 40 degrees. So we will use atomic energy storage batteries to heat them up at night and keep them operational. The batteries have to be able to work for long periods at a time, as one night on moon lasts two full weeks on Earth.